In this video, I show you how to use your iPhone 12's side button and volume buttons to force restart, place your device into recovery mode, and more. But first, a word from our sponsor. 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube is sponsored by Tenorshare's Reboot. Ever found your iPhone stuck on an Apple logo like this? Not only can Tenorshare's Reboot fix this problem, but it can also do a whole lot more. Simply connect your iOS device to your Mac and instantly gain access to awesome features like the ability to enter or exit recovery mode with a single click like this. That feature by itself seems cool enough, but with the Reboot, you gain access to a whole bunch of other repair features as well. In fact, Tenorshare says it can fix 150 plus iOS iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS issues. It can help you recover iOS to normal without data loss. It can even help you downgrade from an iOS beta like this. Click the link in the description for more details and special thanks to Tenorshare for sponsoring 9to5Mac. If you upgrade it to the iPhone 12 from an older iPhone with a home button, then this video can definitely help you out. Or even if you're not, if, even if you just want to remember how to manage your iPhone, we're going to do so in this video. So you want to get familiar with the volume buttons, the up and down volume buttons on the left side of your iPhone and the side button, which is on the right side of your iPhone. And you want to get familiar with all three of these buttons because we're going to use them periodically throughout this tutorial. Now for some operations, you will need a computer. So I'm using my MacBook Air and you can connect that to your iPhone using a lightning to USB cable. All right, so let's get started. So let's start simple, how to power off the iPhone 12. There are actually a couple of ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you the first way here. We're gonna go into the settings app. I'm gonna scroll down until we find general. So just tap on general and then scroll all the way down until you see shut down. So you just wanna tap that shut down button and that will present the slide to power off slider. Try saying that three times fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide to power off and there we go. That's how you power off your iPhone 12. Now, let me show you another way here. You can use either one of the volume buttons along with the side button. So we're gonna press one of the volume buttons and the side button at the same time and then look, you can easily slide to power off. All right, so let me show you how to power on the iPhone 12. So your iPhone's at a black screen like this, it's powered off. All you do is press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. And that's it, you just release and it will boot up just like that. Now you just simply enter your passcode to unlock and you're good to go. All right, so now let's talk about how to force restart your iPhone 12. If you ever find your iPhone to be unresponsive, you can use this handy trick to force restart. So you wanna press the volume up button followed by volume down and then press and hold the side button. So let me show you how to do that right now. So you wanna press volume up release, volume down release, press and hold the side button just like this, continue holding until you see a black screen. So we'll give it a few more seconds and this should force the restart. There we go. Now, the cool thing is we didn't shut down the iPhone. We simply force restarted the iPhone. So it's gonna boot back up on its own, just like that. So you should see the Apple logo and eventually come back to the lock screen. Super simple, super easy. All right, so let's talk about how to get into recovery mode. You're going to need a lightning to USB cable. You want the opposite end of this cable plugged into your computer, just like this. And then of course you want the lightning connector plugged into the lightning port on the bottom of the iPhone 12. So let's do that right now. Alrighty, almost there, there we go. So we got it connected. And if this is your first time connecting to that particular computer, it's gonna ask you to trust the computer to establish a trust connection. So just tap trust, put in your iPhone's passcode. Please don't copy my top secret passcode. So now we can use our button combination to enter into recovery mode. So we wanna press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button and continue holding the side button. Okay, press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button, and even when the black screen appears, continue holding that button. Don't let go. Even when the Apple logo appears, continue holding that button. And then eventually you're gonna see something that looks a little bit like this. And then on your computer, it should automatically recognize that your iPhone is in recovery mode. It should prompt you to either update or restore. And you'll see a message that says, there's a problem with this iPhone, blah, blah, blah. But the main focus here is the update or restore buttons. And you can use those based on what you need. But this is how you get into recovery mode to perform that update or restore based on your needs. And if you're using a recent version of Mac OS, that restore message is going to appear in the finder because iTunes is of course no more. 
Now I'm gonna show you how to exit out of recovery mode. It's super simple, super easy. All you do is press and hold the side button until the recovery screen goes away and you see a black screen. And then you'll also see the iPhone disappear from the finder, indicating a successful exit from recovery mode. And then your iPhone will boot back up. Now let's talk about how to get into DFU mode. Now the first thing you wanna do is make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer. And then you wanna press volume up and release, volume down and release, press and continue holding the side button, and then press and continue holding the volume down button. Eventually you'll release from the side button while continuing to hold the volume down button and then you will be in DFU mode. I know, talk about finger gymnastics. The good news is that in most cases you probably won't need to be in DFU mode. So let's do it. Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Press and hold the volume down button while continuing to hold the side. Wait five seconds and then release the side button and hold the volume down button for an additional 10 seconds. And the screen should stay black. There should be no Apple logo that appears. And then on your computer, you're gonna see this pop up stating that your computer has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. That is good. This is DFU mode. Notice you don't get an option to update, it's just recover. So like I said, chances are slim that you're ever gonna to need to use DFU mode, but it's nice to know just in case. And again, all you're gonna see on your iPhone is that black screen. Now, here's how to exit out of DFU mode. It's not as simple as exiting recovery mode, Instead, you press volume up, volume down, and press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. So let's do it. Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. And that should appear in just a few seconds. Usually takes about 10 seconds. And there we go. So there's the Apple logo, and eventually it'll boot back up to your lock screen and you can go about your business. So let's talk about how to temporarily disable Face ID on iPhone 12. There may be some circumstances where you wanna do that to prevent people from unlocking your device. So you wanna press and hold either of the volume buttons and the side button, and this screen will appear. Once you hit cancel, notice what it says. Your passcode is required to enable Face ID. So you're not gonna be able to use Face ID until your passcode is used to authenticate first. Now, let me show you how to use emergency SOS on your iPhone 12. There's three ways to do so. You can press and hold either of the volume buttons in the side button and then use the SOS slider. You can also continue to press and hold either of the volume buttons in the side button. Notice the countdown timer. And you wanna be careful because this will dial emergency authorities. So don't do this unless you're serious about it. And then you can go to the settings, emergency SOS, and then enable call with side button. So you can enable that. And this makes it so that when you press the side button five times in quick succession, it's going to invoke emergency SOS, just like that. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully I was able to learn you something. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and thumbs up if you appreciate this video. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. Special thanks to Tenorshare's Reboot for sponsoring 9to5Mac. Have you ever been stuck on an Apple logo like this? Well, Reboot makes it easy to fix that problem. Plus, it can do all sorts of other cool things like booting directly into recovery mode with just a single click. Yep, it's that easy. Click the link in the description for more.